5.30 in the morning, getting started, get on the computers. It's 10.30 on the East Coast. I've already got tons of emails and messages and people from all over the world trying to figure out what is going on with a million different things. So we're gonna start answering emails, kind of going through the morning, see what the market's doing, and then start working on a video for YouTube. Last night, this new NFT project, the Baby Ape Social Club, which is kind of a play on the board ape. I ended up buying one on the secondary market for 0.80 and now they're 2.4 soul. 6.30 now and breaking down some charts, gonna make a couple videos for YouTube, look at it, AMC. It's kind of interesting because I'm getting a lot of hate, a lot of people are really upset and mad about AMC and well, it's pretty much doing exactly what I've been saying it's been doing for the last six months, but people don't like to see the truth and they especially don't wanna admit that they might possibly have made a bad investment. Anytime you attach emotion to an investment it gets really bad really quickly so don't fall in love with your investments my friends cut them off sometimes you just got to cut them off so we also filmed a new video about the dji mavic 3 posted that up on the drone nerds youtube channel this morning so we got to go through that get that all set up we're working on komodo dragons we're working on lava runners working on drone nerds we're working on my own youtube channel we're working on creating content right now for other brands it's only 6 30. Everyone's still sleeping. The roosters are crowing, looking at the waves, start looking at the wind forecast, start making a plan for the day. So I think today we're gonna at least get in the water, to maybe maybe once, we'll be in the water at least once today, but maybe twice, we'll see. But it's always uh, kind of exciting because you can see from my back porch down to the ocean, get an idea how rough it is or if it's calm or if there's big waves or just kind of soak it all in in the morning. Gotta get some coffee. Gotta kinda get some supplies for the day. We got food land, we got the coffee bean. They always take care of me. I like to stay local. There's not really any other options on the North Shore in terms of coffee and stuff. So I'm gonna grab some coffee and then uh, grab some, I think I gotta grab some tape for my foot. What's poppin'? Monday morning, baby, what we doing? Monday morning, baby. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start airdropping the NAR tokens oh. that I'm earning from my Komodos. Yeah. And then I'll start airdropping those to lava runners. I'm gonna pay this $5. It's gonna ask me for my credit card number, you cheap fuck. If the project doesn't make money, then it's not an idea. You know, it's just, then it's just bullshit. Like the project has to make money. Like there's gotta be money to it. At the end of the day, it's a very simple idea here, my friends. If a CEO of a company does not actually stock in a company, I wanna look for a company that has a CEO. Let's be honest here. All right, so let's finish up the video for AMC. Gonna post that up. It's currently 9.45 in the morning. We've been going hard, working on just a million different things, but I think it's time to go and have a little bit of fun. We're gonna go and do some e-foiling and grab some lunch and then come back, do some more work, mix it up. I like to work hard and I like to play hard and then work hard and then play hard. Instead of like working softly and then playing softly, I like to work hard, play hard. says yeah i knew i got a good one i i know it was the, what i did out there but i don't know if they had filmed it we'll see we're gonna grab an acai bowl now it's the daily ritual it's getting pretty bad they pretty much know me by name in there plug. <laughs> acai plug i don't know that one which one's better let me see this one saw some local youtuber talent some guy named jamie o'brien out there i don't know never heard of him but i heard he's got a youtube channel gonna head home and grab some surfboards now we did the e-foiling we got some lunch 
now we're gonna go surfing. Cool little spot, hitting off the reef, a little fun right. It's pretty windy out, it's sunny though, and 80 degrees and it's December, so you can't complain about it. Luster. It's difficult, especially when the waves are kind of all moving around. Every once in a while a good one comes through, but it was definitely challenging. Pretty windy, but still fun to get out in the water, move around. The old saying that if you can surf really bad waves good, then you can surf good waves all day. So just, that's what I've heard at least. I, I haven't actually met that status yet, but that's the saying. So I'm going to keep living with that saying, I guess. All right, so we're back here where we started earlier surfing and now we're gonna go work out. But the way I look at it, honestly, is like, who am I to tell people, you know, like give advice on life or give advice on investing or whatever it is, if I can't even show myself being, you know, productive and I'm trying to walk the talk, you know? No more just talking, we're just walking. It's pretty cool because like we literally, we're just surfing right down there. Get a look up here, see where we're gonna train out later. Kind of like the, the training zone down there and then also up here. Four o'clock. We've been going since 5 a.m., baby. Non-stop. Day in the life. My class has nothing to do with you waking up at 5 o'clock. I gotta mentally prepare for his class at 5 a.m. They have to do 200 lunges. Every time they break, they stop, they put the weight down, whatever. They need to do seven man makers. Then they go back. Yeah, we've been working for the same thing, yeah, I think February, so it's been good, you know, it's, you really can see the difference, even though I'm, I've been seeing him uh, pretty much every week and almost every day, evolved a lot, even though, like the cardio and how much he can do and stuff like that, you know, and it's like, besides the physical appearance that he changed a lot, lost a, like a lot of weight, you know, and he been, he been telling me too, it's like slowly he's been seeing like, when he went surfing and stuff like that, doing surf sessions, how it, it got easier to do stuff and transition, you know, like when you start getting shape, when you do other things, it's way easier to do like any activity and, you know, and and it gets into a, a almost like a snowball. Once you start doing exercise and being active, 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 then when you were feeling shape, you, you feel the necessity of like being working out and doing stuff, you know, being more active. So we've been boxing and doing that kind of stuff too. You know, now we've been mixing more exercise too because it's more of a cardio situation even more because a lot of the activities, he does not water activity. So he's always like paddling and doing that kind of stuff. So it helps, you know, and it's a, and it's a fun cardio kind of thing, you know? People run, they swim, they do that kind of stuff. But again, it's for the cardio. He's not looking for getting to a fight, like fight someone or become a professional boxer or anything like that. It's almost 6 p.m., boys. We've been going since 5 a.m. Now it's time to grind. My local spot here, AJ Limo. If you're on the North Shore, this is the best food. And I don't just say that because they pay me or anything. Because they don't, I pay them a lot of money. But so I've been on this little like kick of trying to like really just protein it up. So we're gonna go for the double teriyaki chicken plate. And uh, it's pretty good, pretty good. I'm, I don't wanna say I eat here every day. If there's seven days in the week, I might eat here six days a week. The problem with the North Shore is there's only so many places you can eat at. There's literally, I, would, I can count on like one hand, like there's yeah, literally four places that are edible to eat on the North Shore at least from a healthy standpoint. So I try to hit up the same spot every day. Pretty much, you know, earlier we saw the acai bowls and then for dinner, we eat here. And then for breakfast, we go to the coffee bean. So it is officially 6 p.m. We've been going nonstop 12 hours. Dane's probably tired of pointing a camera at me all day. I think we got some, we got some cool stuff. The e-foiling was fun. We got kind of screwed over there with the surfers in the inside, but I'm hoping that we at least got a few waves out there surfing wise 
We got some good training in. We got some good action in the market today. A lot of people are really upset about the AMC debacle. But hey, you know, I've been telling people the same story for the last six months and nobody wants to believe me. But what do I know? You know, what do I know at this point? So we're going to end up finishing up this little grind session and then get home. And Dane's got to edit this video like in the next 10 hours because I want to post it by Wednesday morning. So Dane, get some Red Bulls. Let's go. That's it. You're on.